I was curious as to how you'd recommend handling narcissistic gift giving that could include gifts that are passive aggressive, mean spirited, competitive, that involve what's known as love bombing, or simply come with strings attached. We hear about practicing grace and gratitude with those who don't hear us about less being more. But how should one respond to a gift that's given clearly as a put down or a power play? Narcissistic gift giving. Mm. PK, it seems to me that narcissistic gift giving is, I don't know, like, it's like loving violence in a way. It's like these things are oxymoronic, right? Because the spirit of a gift is what? To add value to someone else's life. I, I really dislike the idea that gift giving is a love language because it presupposes that there is love in a thing quite often, right? Mm. And well, you know us, it's love people use things, but sometimes things can be useful. And so I like to uncouple the gift from the love. And the way that I do that is by saying gift giving is no more a love language than pig Latin is a romance <laughs> language. Now, mm. let's be clear. I'm not saying gift giving is bad or wrong. I'm not saying pig Latin is bad or wrong. In fact, it was quite fun when we were kids to try to figure out how to reverse the words. And yet, people will think that I'm making a judgment there. We're going to talk to Ruslan a little bit about judgments. But I would like to talk to you right now, TK, about this concept of love bombing or narcissistic gift giving that Laura from New Zealand brings up. Yeah, I was just watching this movie too where there was a family party and there are two sons and one of the sons was engaged and he announced to his family at the party that he is now engaged and the parents were so proud and so happy. And there was the jealous brother who was like, oh, you're not going to one up me. And so even though he's not even engaged or interested in getting engaged, he grabs his girlfriend and goes up there and sings a song and does this big, elegant show and says, and we too are engaged. And she's like, what? He's like, just go with it, go with it. And the parents are even more proud, right? And so this is a classic example of using good news as a way to compete with someone else, as a way to signal I'm better than you. I'm going to buy you this gift because the last gift you bought me was so cheap. This is going to show you that I'm the one that's more caring in this relationship. Or maybe you buy my mom a $5 gift and I chuckle condescendingly. <laughs> well, momsy, I got you the $500 gift. <laughs> Don't you love me more? <laughs> you know, gift giving as competition, gift giving as self-congratulation. The way you opt out of that game. It's the same way you deal with the game of tug of war that you don't want to be a part of. In order to play tug of war, one person has to hold the rope on that end. The other person's got to hold the rope on this end. And as long as we're both pulling, man, we got a game that's capable of lasting forever. And it will be a test of strength because the one that pulls the strongest will be able to stand self-righteously above the other and say, I beat you. But you can always let your end of the rope go. And the game is instantly over. And that person doesn't look stronger. In fact, they kind of look like a cloud as they fall backwards in this vain game. And when it comes to narcissistic gift giving, you can simply opt out. You can just quit playing. If someone's giving you a passive aggressive gift, you can let them know, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't like the spirit that is behind it. And I say no to that. If it's truly the thought that counts, will then never accept a gift with a thought behind it that says F you. Mm. Yes. We often think that we can't opt out. I must play mm -hmm. this game. Mm -hmm. And that becomes a trap because now I feel as though I have to do something I don't want to do. I'm obligated to give you a gift or I'm obligated to accept your gift. I'm obligated to play the game that you're playing. Or even worse, I too am obligated to be the narcissist to match your energy. Yeah. And that destroys a relationship. But when you opt out, you're doing so lovingly. You're not saying, screw you, I hate you, I dislike you, your gifts are, whatever it is. It's simply saying, hey, I'm not playing that game. Laura, I'd love to send you a copy of our book, Essential. Uh, there are 12 chapters in there, 12 areas of intentional living. It's an essay collection, 150 different essays from the minimalists. And in that book, there's an entire chapter about minimalist gift giving, several mm. essays about gifting, but with intention. 
I think you'll enjoy that. If you enjoy our podcast, we'll send you the audio book version of Essential. Or if you want the book book or the ebook version, we'll send those to you as well. Did you enjoy this standalone Patreon highlight? If so, you can listen to full episodes of The Minimalist's private podcast available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists or click the link in the description. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.